it got very addictive. It got very self-indulgent. That's every man's dream. Every man is up Anton Daniels. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't um, think every man runs ads in order to be able to reach out and get women. Well, I would say I would agree with you that because I know that you don't appreciate it because when running ads to sell physical merchandise and running ads to get women, they're roughly the same. So it's a skill set. But every man's dream, most heterosexual men want to have a lot of unlimited sex with no restraints, no requirements. That's most men's dream. There are some men who meet a one woman, get married, have a beautiful relationship. That's a beautiful thing. But the average dude wants to have as much sex as possible. That much I'm sure of. Glenda, can I ask you a question? I'm genuinely curious. I'm genuinely curious. Because it seems as though looking at your videos and going through your very, very, very detailed sexual experiences with these teenagers, so to speak, right? It seems as though you base your moral compass as far as how young a girl should be, and you admittedly said that the only difference between you and R. Kelly is you didn't have other people going out to get the girls for you. That's word for word exactly what you said. The only difference between you and R. Kelly is that he didn't have he didn't have you didn't have girls going going with him, and you said that you wasn't as big as R. Kelly. That's a right. But B, you justify the behavior by saying that it's legal or you felt that it was legal or whatever, right? That the minimum age in which you can have sex with a girl is 16, right? Do you base your decisions as to who it is, because you said you like young girls, who it is that you want to have sex with based off of what the law says and not necessarily based off of your own your own decisions as to how old or how young they should be. All right. Once again, this video was an experiment. Let me say that again. And the video was titled, I could have been like R. Kelly. I could have been a predator. I mean, if I had true R. Kelly at energy, there would be about 500 teenage girls fucked at the moment. And I didn't do it because I like girls with titties. I like ass. And a lot of these girls, they were young and they were undeveloped and they didn't appeal to me. So, and once again, because I worked at Scottish Right, I know that a lot What's of... Scottish Right? Scottish Right is a children's hospital. It's a hospital down here. And we had social workers and we would have children come in who were raped, molested, and all this other stuff. And pedophiles don't change behavior. They are who they are. And I never actually dove into like, like this one girl, she must have been, she said she was 16, but she must have been like 10 years old. And I'm just like, why are you on here? Why are you emailing me? You should be playing with dolls and stuff. So I did not base my acceptance on age. I based my acceptance on, was she hot? Did she look a certain way? And most of these high school girls were not hot. They didn't look a certain way. They had braces and all this other stuff. So typically, I would say the medium age for the women that I engaged off Craigslist was about 28 to 32. That's where the bulk of them were. So I wasn't like hunting down children and, you know, it was funny. But in that video, it was an experiment. And we will see how it goes because a lot of people got outraged. I have people leaving comments on all of my channels, and it, it, it's just wow. You didn't answer the question, Glendon. I said, do you determine how young the girl is as far as what I did girl? answer your question. I said, age has nothing to do with it. I don't go after girls who are young. But you know, wait, 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 come on now. You, you said, you just said that you don't go after girls who are young, but I don't go after teenagers. Let's put it that way. I do like young women, 28 to about 35. Yes, I did. Guilty. You literally described in detail how you love young girls. You love, you word for word, I love young pussy. Once again, uh, once again, oh, that wait. video was an experiment. 17 year old girls' tits were. You described in detail. Yes, I did. In the video that was an experiment. How awesome it was, and then. 
when you found out her age and you found out she was still 17 and she wasn't 18 yet, you kept going. You sp admittedly said, I love young girls, word for word. That's what you said. Was it a lie? Because if it is, then you told it. And to be clear, you did say that the, the, the video was an experiment, but you also said in that experiment, everything was true except for the, Their ages. Ages, the ages that you changed. But, you're, but you didn't say, you know, when I said I love young girls or I love young pussy or that, whatever, you didn't no, say that. I actually, I do like young women, you know, 28 to 32. I am 54 years old. I do like them. I don't like teenagers because one of the things is, you can't really talk to a teenager. You know, they don't even know why they're friend. Here's the thing, because you described R. Kelly's appetite. And, you know, I thank you for this, because you said in that video, you said uh, the normal man does not have that appetite. And I think that's something that a lot of women need to hear, right? This is not, we're not going to cast, you know, what's going on in the kink community to all men, right? No, no. But what R. Kelly did, but most wait, wait, men can't get with that. Right. But what you did say is that you kind of have that appetite. And you said, and this is a quote, there is something special about fucking a young girl that doesn't have a lot of miles on her. Now, you know, and this is not a shot at any 28-year-olds. 28-year-olds in Atlanta got a lot of miles on them, right? <laughs> that's not a shot. That's not a shot, but it's true. It's true. So you, let's be honest, Linda. When you I, I, will, I will share some with you. I will okay. share some with you. I've managed to meet four millionaires through these ads, and I managed to meet many women who were 20-something to 30-something that didn't have a lot of miles on them. Because 